basically um, opposite where I live. This is my neighbour's place, as you can see. My neighbour's been really noisy all night, playing loud music and stuff. <laughs> I don't have any neighbours. <laughs> That's the good part about it. No one to annoy the shit out of me. Okay, so I'm cruising off to start the morning. Sorry about the tag again, but I can part of the picture. That happens. And yeah, so here I am going down my road to start the day. Breaking that carbon uh, rules breaking these days. Riding down these roads. There's no problem with carbon rules. These wheels for a while now, I'm going to get the brake, no problems. So, as you can see, it's a little bit of a rough track now. So, yeah, as I'm about to tell you what happens, this beautiful start to the day. If you have a listen, as you can see, it started off great, but um, uh oh. So, this here is a guinea fowl. Coming over to eat my almond, it's farm and I've chucked out down the uh, grass for it. And in the background, you probably can hear lots of birds, which is the great thing about here. So this morning I've um, I've had a massive failure. I've had earlier footage. And uh, I haven't ridden my bike for a little while. Jumped on it, went out. The downfall of having DI2 is... The battery. The battery. You know my thing with batteries. Battery's flat. Can you believe it? <laughs> I can't believe it. It's been on quite okay today because I've been not going too good on the bike. Thinking, yep, yeah, I'll uh, basically just get out and have a bit of a ride this morning. It's an absolute beautiful morning. There is not a breath of wind. Perfect day for riding. Battery's flat on the DI2. It means it can't change gears. No gear changing. Which is really, really, really. <laughs> hill that thing. It is a mountain to climb. And, So I'm just sort of teasing you at the moment. I haven't quite gone into those hills. Well, I have, but not on the vlogs yet. So they're to come. Um, that's the sort of stuff. At the moment, I'm just getting myself back into riding. Um, I've only been doing a little bit of riding lately. And uh, yeah, it's pretty tough going out here uh, to uh, actually get yourself back into it. Um, 
Yeah, there's no real flats. This is the flattest road I've got, so it's about 10 k. It's called Crofton Road, which runs a bit north of Nimbin, not far. It's a beautiful, uh, beautiful road. It goes out. It's pretty flat, as I was saying. There's a slight incline for bike riders up here. But I reckon if you're a cyclist and you were uh, thinking about coming up to, to Nimbin, um, I reckon this is probably the place to stay. Uh, they've got a few cabins here. I will eventually get in and talk to these people and uh, see what they've got to offer. Um, even though being here for quite a while now, I don't know everyone. Um, it's a small town, but you don't get to know everyone. So I've probably met these people, I've seen these people that own uh, what they call Crofton's Retreat. So I would like to go and have a chat to them. And, uh, but I've heard it's pretty good. And the other thing it says on its board here is it's pet friendly. So all those people that are looking for places to stay with their pets, you know that old saying, oh, I can't go, i got to take my dog. What about my dog? Someone's got to look after my dog. My cat. I don't know about cats, but dogs I suppose would be cool. I suppose cats, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, yeah, this is the place anyway. Uh, Crofton Retreat. So I'd say it would be on the internet. Check it out on the internet. But they've just put in a whole heap of new cabins here. So, um, yeah. Maybe their website's not right up to date. But this is a good place to start riding from. Um, you're out of town a bit too. You're not. It's a car drive back to town. You could walk it. Um, it's probably approximately probably about, I'd say about maybe eight k's out of town. Maybe a bit less, seven k's out of town. So round trip, fourteen k's out back. Um, but it's a beautiful spot. Beautiful spot. I've got a swimming pool as well, so. You can come back and have a swim if it's too hot, like it's getting at the moment. So anyway, I'll just um, give you a little bit of a look around at the place. Yeah, so that's the sign you're looking for, which is back on the main road too, I must, must say. There is a sign, Crofton Road, just remember that. It's Crofton Retreat. Crofton as in Crofton, you know, Crofton, Crofton weed I think it is but there's not so much okay so this footage is up across the road sped up of course not going that fast <laughs> which I could uh yeah so I'm just uh flying up the road um this is the flat road as I'm talking about so it's got a few inclines in it but it's a pretty nice road um hardly any traffic on it and uh yeah it's a great little spot to ride Quite warm today, but um, yeah, as you can see, easy pedaling. So yeah, there you go. Heading back home. <laughs> Whoa! I just thought that was a snake on the road back there. It's not though. So anyway, yeah, heading back home. Cruising along. It's like a roller coaster here. Go up and down, up and down, up and down. Thanks to the DI2, Shimano DI2, keeps me rolling along. Okay, this is Roll down. There's the next side there. Just the left is the hospital, the right is the police station. Vinny's on the right there. And on the left is a little shop called Green Bank. I think that's great stuff there. So, tourist shops on the right there. Plenty of stuff to see. Get into town. It's a great pizza shop there. Bakery. Left is another coffee shop. Environmental shop. Uh, there's a bank. It's also a supermarket. A couple more tourist shops. Yeah, so it's a good little spot. Plenty of things to get. Anyway, so I'm back home now. There's a couple of new mates waiting for me. And another member of our family just hanging out. So stay tuned. Keep tuning into my vlogs. Thanks very much for watching.